All right, everybody, welcome in. I'm WCA3 Chief Meteorologist Kevin Lighty uh, coming to you here uh, from the studio, 1149 p.m. We are tracking a severe thunderstorm into portions of Christian County right now. That warning includes Christian Moultrie and Shelby County as that storm is going to be moving here to the south and east. Uh, this also has what is known as the tornado possible tag associated with it. Okay, so what that means is this storm that we're looking at not only has a very strong potential for winds of 60 miles an hour, that storm also has the potential for a quick little spin up tornado. Let's go ahead and uh, we will take the radar full and you can see the storm that is of concern sitting right there into portions of uh, Christian County right now, south and east of the Taylorville area is what we are seeing. So our storm of, uh, of highest concern, southeastern Christian County, and, it's, and again, it's mainly for winds, but there's a little area that we're watching where there has been a little bit of rotation with that, and that is going to be uh, showing up kind of south and east of Taylorville, and maybe closer to that uh, the locust area there where there could be some of that rotation within the storm that could spawn a quick little spin up and so we're going to be watching that area there. There are some very strong winds within this as well. And this storm is moving to the south and to the east. And so you can see there's the warning that covers a very large part of Shelby County and Christian County here tonight. So a severe thunderstorm warning with what is known as the tornado possible tag. And so that's the thing that, uh, that we're definitely keeping a close eye on is that potential for a little spin-up tornado. So if you're down in that area, uh, you want to definitely be paying attention. What we can do is kind of uh, take a little bit of a path on this to show you exactly where our storm is going. And I'm going to look at the winds within this as well. So it's moving to the east, kind of southeast around 45 miles an hour. So what we'll do is we'll kind of back this up a little bit. And we're going to put on here a little bit of a track to show you and I'm going to kind of do it from the leading edge of this whole thing and bring it down here and we'll pop it there at about 45 to give you guys an idea of where it's going. So Pena here in the next few minutes, you've got Assumption, Tower Hill, Shelbyville here in the next kind of half an hour or so if this would kind of stay on the same track uh, that we're kind of monitoring here. So strong winds within this for sure and it's moving here to the south and east if you are in any of these locations herrick and windsor uh, you know kind of down the line there you want to be on the lookout for that storm so here's what we're looking at i'm going to go ahead and flip on the velocity it allows us to see some of the winds okay so first off you've got some really strong winds over here and that's going to be where we've got some of these brighter pinks uh showing up so right there in those little pink areas that is definitely where we've got strong winds. When we query that with the radar, we ask, hey, how strong are some of those winds that you've got in there? And it's going to tell us 62 miles an hour, the velocity that we're looking at, maybe some 62 mile an hour winds uh, that are showing up. So some really strong winds uh, there with that. And again, the potential for that little spin up is what we've kind of been looking at. Now that would be a little bit more to the north and i'm going to show you that area because we've got strong winds that's one thing that's kind of on the south end of that but there's a little area here and that's going to be over towards kind of the assumption area west of assumption i would be kind of monitoring this area right in here for maybe that quick little spin up to occur okay so we're kind of looking in this general area, uh, it is a tornado possible tag. So it's not confirmed, but it is a tornado possible tag associated with that storm. Let's clear this off so you get an idea of the direction that our storm is moving. I'm going to put a loop on this, and you'll see this thing kind of dive into the south and to the east. I'll show you the wide view. So this whole thing is essentially kind of doing this here. Okay, so the whole line kind of moving to the south and east. Maybe some individual storms may try to move a little bit more to the east, but this whole line, for the most part, diving south and east here tonight. Potential is there for 60 mile per hour winds, and the potential is there for, again, a brief spin up tornado as this kind of uh, meanders its way through. It's raining pretty good there in Taylorville, uh, Stonington. 
Storm just moved through Moequa. You got a pretty good little storm rolling through there. But again, 60 mile an hour winds, Christian County, Moultrie County. We're now heading into Shelby County, kind of the biggest area of concern that we've got. Uh, so if you're down towards uh, Pena and Shelbyville, just kind of be on the lookout as this storm is definitely packing a punch. And boy, does it have a lot of lightning with it as well. I'm going to see what our cameras are showing. Well, that's our camera in Springfield. I want to pull up our other cameras because uh, we were looking at our camera in Decatur as we were kind of looking at this storm. You can see a lot of lightning associated with this. I mean, the lightning is just almost constant out there. And what I can do is I'll, I'll pop on here in a second and show. I know it looks really dark there in Decatur. It's a, a tower cams looking off into the abyss, essentially. But it is definitely showing us the intensification of this storm when we look at just the lightning. So I'm going to switch on the lightning. Look at all those little icons there. Those are all showing... Um, the intensity of that storm and look at all the lightning there between say Booty, down to Macon, Stonington, Moequa. I know if you're down there right now, that is a light show. That is a constant, constant bit of lightning that is occurring down there. So we've got the lightning on the storm. The storm is diving to the south and to the east. It has that potential to bring 60 mile per hour winds and that brief little spin up of a tornado. And we've got some of you that are in here and watching uh, with us tonight. I'm just curious if anybody is out there in Christian County, over to portions of Shelby County. Anybody out there tonight, or maybe even down into, oh, as you uh, work your way down there, South Fayette County, or even down in Montgomery County, because that storm is going to be coming into the uh, Nicobus area here before too long as well. Herrick, Cowden, strong, strong winds associated with this as this storm is continuing to move to the south and east. So we're coming up here at midnight. 11.56 p.m. Uh, this is the first warning that we've had here all night in our area. So we haven't seen much. The St. Louis area, they're about to get just pounded by a very strong cell there. That whole line is worn coming into the northwestern suburbs of uh, St. Louis. Um, and then we're looking at our storm that's coming in from Christian into Shelby County. That has the one warning that we are monitoring here. So we're going to be watching this for you, keep you up to date on just uh, how exactly these storms are evolving. And uh, Jacob, I'm going to have you jump in here in a second and um, talk about our storm that we've got here. That's moving through. You know, it doesn't take much. You get these little spin-ups that can occur, but you're really looking at some strong winds. We've been watching these storms all night, and these 60-mile-an-hour winds have been uh, have been something for sure. So I'll let you kind of take over there. But uh, that's kind of what we're looking at there. You know, it's, it's weakened a little bit, but there's still definitely that uh, potential for uh, some severe weather. Yeah, so uh, Kevin, as we watch this, and we'll just make sure folks are hearing me as we get some audio behind the scenes. We've ran our audio, so uh, we can handle that all here internally, Kevin. Uh, we do have that severe thunderstorm warning that was issued. We thought this may be the case, a uh, low end event here. The storm seems to be almost pivoting around itself there, helping some of those winds maybe to, to move outward. And sometimes when these storms pivot out a little bit, like we've seen perhaps in eastern Christian County, sometimes you can get a little bit of an area of circulation in spots here. And that's been the case, it seems like, right here with that little area. You know, this whole line is pivoting out here where this one's moving a little slower. And so things are kind of moving back and forth a little bit. Uh, and so that's why that tornado possible tag was included on this severe thunderstorm warning. Now remember, the tornado watch itself is not include Christian and Shelby and Moultrie counties here. I'll show you the the uh, watch here real fast, and you'll see that uh, that tornado watch. Um, what I'll do here is you'll see that tornado watch is actually going to be just for McCoupin and Morgan counties, and that is the case until 2 a.m. We've already cut it for Cass County. We don't actually have a watch in Christian and Shelby County. The threat, the further instability still seems to be maybe a low in chance, and we've ended up getting that with that severe thunderstorm warning today. I will mention also there is a flash flood watch, and that's going to be for parts of uh, Sangamon, Menard, Morgan, and Cass County. That goes through tomorrow morning because of some of these storms that we have here in, in central Illinois and that we've been seeing roll on through. A lot of rain I'm seeing some of those comments also the thunder and lightning has been incredible with these storms here we've been watching in our sky cams and uh, keeping an eye on it uh, with that so again this is our latest the severe thunderstorm warning for 
parts of Christian and Shelby and even Moultrie County goes until 1230. It's 1158 right now. Uh, I'm going to do is I'm going to switch here real quick uh, and you'll see the screen freeze. Maybe we're still here. I'm going to switch this uh, system real quick. to Mawequa and points uh, even down into Shelby County on 51. Oconee up to the Vandale, uh, Fayette County line north of Vandalia. Shelby County, most all of Shelby County in this, not Strasburg, not Strewardson though, uh, won't be for um, areas on the eastern edge. And then Moultrie County, essentially all of the county in that, except for just to the east of Windsor. That warning, again, mainly for the winds, but that tornado threat can't be ruled out. All right, now that I got this working here, um, flash flood watch, let me show you that graphic real fast. Flooding's been a concern, and we've had a heavy rain with this. And that's been the case for us here uh, for a while now. As this graphic loads, you'll see that flash flood watch goes through tomorrow morning. Should pop up here in just a second. There it is. Sangamon, Menard, Cass, and Morgan County. And then you'll see the county alerts. We've just got the tornado watch left for Morgan and Macoupin County. The severe thunderstorm warning, though, does continue for a little while longer. Here we go. Let's talk more about who's in and who's out and where this storm is heading for. Uh, I want to mention the area of circulation. We kind of watched. It was broad. It had our eye. We thought that might be the case. So you'll see some of these reds and greens that are showing up here just to the west of Assumption. That's on 51 south of Decatur, about a 25-minute drive or so south, maybe even a little less than that. Uh, very broad circulation at this point. But what it is is those storms continue to pivot around slowly. Uh, you can see at one point here a little earlier on, those red colors are winds surging away. And as they push off to the south and east there, they kind of start to wrap around itself a little bit. And that's what's kind of prompted this where, yeah, maybe something could, but at this point it's not immediately likely. And that's why we have this uh, severe thunderstorm warning with what we call a tornado possible tag. Now, if you train your eyes on assumption where those reds and greens are fairly close, let's bring the radar up and show you here um, where that is relative to that. You'll notice there's almost a blob of red overhead there. And as I show you real fast here, um, looking at that, this right here is kind of where you get a little inflow in and your storm's kind of pivoting around and things can tend to swirl just a little bit, which is the case with this here. And so, you know, we're kind of out of a bunch of caution. And it's late at night. A lot of folks have probably woken up, got the alert on their cell phone. So we'll do this digital coverage and just update things here um, for that. But the lightning has definitely been a, a prolific issue. In fact, let's go ahead and talk about the lightning first off. Yeah, we know that the uh, severe thunderstorm warning with winds and hail, but you can see all these lightning bolts there, Kevin. I mean, there's been some incredible lightning. We've seen that on our cameras. So some of the uh, viewer comments, thunder, lightning, and really windy in Shelbyville. And then got one from uh, Janet. That lightning hit so close to my house for a moment, I wondered if the house was about to burn down. That is constant lightning there. With that many lightning strikes, I mean, that's just rapid, rapid fire lightning. And so very highly electrically charged storm and one that is uh, really strong. So you, Michael, is Kevin not on? Oh. Oh. Sorry about that. There we I'll go. Turn my okay. mic down. Perfect. We were talking about how, you know, we had some viewer comments talking about uh, <laughs> lightning hitting really close to their home and uh, that whole area. I mean, that is just, that's intense lightning. And you can see as the icons keep popping up there, one after another, that's probably, you know, close to, you know, lightning every couple of seconds or so. But some people commenting about that. A couple more popping in there. There's another one. There's four. Yeah, just in that second. Now, now, correct me if I'm wrong, Kevin. I believe this actually only is cloud to ground strikes. Is that something? That's correct. I'm not sure it counts necessarily for cloud to cloud entirely. Um, I'm not 100 percent on that, to be yeah, honest. We have to look into that. But yeah, I think I, this is, is strikes. I had this product in Oklahoma, and I think that's what they told us that down there. It was this was just the cloud to ground. So regardless, that's a lot. There's a lot of lightning either way. <laughs> that's either the way. thing to know yeah. um, with that. So we're watching this here again. I'll, we'll kind of you know size up and, and this poly got here this does not include decatur it does really at this point storms are past taylorville shelbyville cowden herrick windsor uh assumption moequa pena uh we're looking even here Oconee sits down here you get to um finley sits right in here you've got lake shelbyville right in there so the thing is with all these storms they they definitely have lined up with where we thought if there would be a strong storm it would 
right along where we've got this instability here. So you're probably not going to get much over, you know, north of Sullivan. You're not going to get anything over here into a Tuscola and, you know, Champagne. This is all going to dive south, and we don't see really anything because there's no energy over here. There's limited energy even with these storms, uh, but we're definitely watching this. So it's going to be Shelby County. It's going to be coming down into Effingham County here, maybe clipping Cumberland County. Um, that's kind of the area here. The, the severe weather threat is over with here to the north. So you're done in Springfield. They've actually trimmed away that tornado watch in a lot of those counties. So we're literally just watching this here. The storms in St. Louis, boy, those are packing a punch. St. Louis Metro about to just get hammered uh, by a very strong line. But there it is. You can see how it evolved and then diving south, and there it is. And there's the movement. So Effingham, yeah, down the line, you guys may get in on some of that activity. Cumberland County as well. We're just going to have to watch and see if uh, this can maintain itself. But um, there's still some energy out there for these storms to tap into. But right now... Main concern is going to be right there on the Christian and Shelby County line, essentially, as again, you've got the winds in there, but there can be those little spin ups. I mean, these are brief. They are there and they're gone um, after, you know, one scan they're there and the next scan they're gone. So it, you kind of have to really key in on some of the very intricate uh, kind of details of the storm to see it. Yeah, and I'd suggest here too, Kevin, you kind of see as it dives on it, the storm mergers, you can kind of see a broad, yeah. you know, it's yeah. not a supercell where we're looking at a, a couplet and seeing something definitive down there, but you kind of see that broad circulation. You just can't rule it out at this point. I still think the wind, yeah, that's definitely an issue. And as the storm is almost, uh, you know, in a way, kind of collapsed on itself, it'll yeah. push some of that wind out, which I think is probably what made that's it this prob morning. Yeah, that's probably what happened. It was really strong as it kind of came through. We saw it in the Taylorville area. It was just kind of ramping up. So that would have been the winds aloft. What happens is that storm collapses, and then all of that wind energy that's up there can just kind of just just funneling out of that and spreading out and, and causing some wind damage there. But I bet there were some pretty strong winds probably southeast of Taylorville. And yeah, I just saw the airport re airport reported uh, 59 mile an hour wind gust at 1135. Okay. Uh, I don't know if you had reported so, on that yet, but I just checked the At chat. Taylorville? At Taylorville, yeah, yeah Taylorville yeah. Airport there. Yeah, that's so the that west makes side sense. Of town. Um, you know, I've been dead about there. So when that came through, we were looking at the radar saying, man, I'm surprised there's not a warning yet, and boom. Uh, probably saw that report and, and issued the warning. So, so we're watching that now. So yeah, Shelby County, you're next uh, in line here as that crosses over 51 now and, and uh, gets into Shelby County. Yeah, I think it's kind of interesting to watch too. In fact, that new warning just popped up here. They've trimmed it back areas east of 51. They also took that tornado possible tag down. Yeah, it's I was going to say here is as you saw that kind of pivot in, maybe a little more of an eastward jog, yeah. but also kind of weaker looking. Yeah. You know, losing some of that energy. That whole thing definitely was diving southeast, but now you can see just in the last few frames is going this yeah. way so yeah a little bit more easterly jogging 40 45 miles an hour and uh, so yeah we're gonna watch that and see how it develops but uh, definitely some strong winds out there so we've got any other comments here yeah the i got uh, my friend gabe who's watching he's down he lives down in uh montgomery county he's in coffee he just said okany is how you say i was calling okony i actually have never had to say that okony. on tv so next time there's a storm that way i'll be able to say okony okony and he'll probably if I still said it wrong, he'll let me know. He'll let okay. you know. I've known it for my FFA Pe days. People usually will let us know. That's I sure. do, yeah. It's probably better we know on digital. Well, yeah, no, say listen. Kind of yeah, exactly. Even more people. A bunch of folks there. So Let's see here. Yep. Um, so a few more comments here. Um, Teresa's writing it out in Taylorville. The lightning is crazy in Stonington, says Krista. Um, thunder and lightning here in Lerna. Shelbyville, lots of thunder and lightning. You know, Lerna, way ahead in Coles County. Yeah. So there's, they're watching that lightning off to the west. In fact, yep. I bet, let's pull up our Mattoon camera, which looks off to the west, and we may actually get a good vantage point oh, yeah, actually, here yeah. as we take a peek at it. So let me just get a second here. You know, we're probably going to see that there. I was outside a little there earlier. It is. Could see that lightning. So we'll see maybe here for a little bit and watch that. Uh, but you know, I was here in Champaign looking out to the west and seeing lightning. Hit that play button on that one more through. time. Hit, hit the, uh, um, on the uh, weather metrics. Weather metrics. Yeah, I think it's frozen. So um, pull up the. Uh, yeah, yeah, just hit play one more time. There's sometimes it's, oh, gotcha. it, it, it's I see frozen. Yep, that, yeah. you're right. Yeah. There it is. There we go. Now it's flashing. Okay. So, yeah, we should probably see a few flashes here popping up. So yeah. Uh, sometimes I, I think it does this to me on TV sometimes. Yes, yeah, when you want to show shot, lightning, it you want to look at it show and, up, yeah. and whatnot. Learn us, it's of course north of Mattoon there. No, no, that's south of Mattoon. I'm thinking of. What am I thinking of? Oh, there's some lightning. There, there we go. go. Now we're there seeing it some. It's a little, oh, yeah, look at that. Oh, a little 
CG way off in the distance. Yeah, maybe, there. maybe we're having a little. I think our camera is a little uh, laggy, which is why. But hey, you get the idea. So yeah, definitely some lightning out there. What's going on? So yeah, you know, Coles County looking off to the west, seeing that. I think the storm taking a little more of an eastward jog. Uh, Coles Cumberland County, and honest to goodness, you know, I got to give credit to some of our our weather models that are out there, Kevin. You know, things were showing pretty well, but this would take a south dive and maybe take an eastward dive, and I, I'm yep. actually pretty impressed with. They it. actually did what. The and we were doubting them all day. Like, well, well they, they weren't doing great, and they haven't done great lately. But uh, this one, right on the money, diving yeah. those south and east. So Shelbyville now, boy, hope hope nobody's out there on the lake late yeah. at night. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if I have to worry about this time, but all that lightning there, there, you can see just the constant barrage now in Shelbyville, uh, up to the north there on 51, Mawequa, yeah. Assumption. Still, though, you see all the lightning behind it here, a lot of that stratiform rain in the backside. I mean, there's lightning bolts behind it up into Sangamon County, Iliopolis area. A lot of times what happens is that backside of the storm, you get some light rain, and uh, when you get that light rain in there, you, know, you just get a few flashes of lightning and a few streaks across the sky yeah. on the backside of it. And it'll be interesting to see, Kevin. Look over in uh, 36 there by Hammond. Yeah, a little lightning. Hey, well, look at Tuscola. There, there you go. Yeah, we're, we're getting lightning well ahead of this, too. <laughs> little showers. So, <laughs> I mean, that's that's really far away from, from that whole complex out there. So, so uh, just kind of peeking down the line. I don't see anything down 57 then. But I would suggest that all of this energy, sometimes you see those storms, you know, you call them bolts from the blue, like way ahead of these storms, complexes, you know, oh, it's just a light rain shower. And yeah. that's what it looks like we've had there, maybe on 36 from Tuscola yeah. uh, associated with this. But it's a lot of lightning. I mean, it's, oh, yeah. uh, that, that's quite a few that's showing up there. So Shelbyville right now, you're getting the brunt of that. And then uh, down there south of Booty to Moequa, uh, 51 there, that, that would be a very bright drive for you. Your headlights will yeah. be one thing, but the lightning will help you do another. But Shelbyville right now, oof. Yeah, we've got uh, Seth, he's watching. He just commented from Stewart's and he says, um, lightning and Stewart's and wind starting to pick up here. Here's Stewart's and here's Strasburg. Strasburg 2 High School sits in the middle. Windsor's right here. Lake Shelbyville sits there. It looks like most of the lightning's from Shelbyville. Of course, the lake sits up here towards Finley. Clarksburg, Cowden, Herrick uh, sliding off of these. Strasburg Stewart's and no warning, but I still think even downstream from this, Neoga, Sigil, uh, Cumberland County, even Mattoon, Charleston, the storms will be loud and they'll be noisy. You'll wake up probably, which is another reason why, Kevin, you know, we're here at 1210 in the morning and we just get to jump in the digital and, and kind of let folks know, hey, you know, Here's what's these going can be loud on. storms. Not loud often storms. we get loud storms in the middle of the night here, but when we do, they'll be noisy. You yeah. Know? Dogs yeah. wake up, the kids wake up. And you want to know what's going on. I saw a comment earlier. Someone said from Petersburg, uh, Menard County, they said, it was a dandy up there. They thought they missed something. They thought we were going to go ahead to the basement because of mm. how loud and stormy it was. That was a strong storm up near Petersburg earlier. It, it early. really was. Big time rain. And that's the other thing. These things are very efficient rainfall producers and are, are just dumping rain. And we've talked about maybe two to three inches of rain possible here through the weekend. These areas are going to pick up an inch of that just tonight, at least an inch. Um, yeah, and let's, let's see if I can get the rain totals to, to pop up here and peak. I'll pull that full screen. Um, probably going to have to. There it is, starting to fill in slowly some of that data adding on in here. So you can see some of those green areas, these colors that are, are popping on in there. There's even some yellows there by Taylorville. Radar is estimating, you know, we're pulling oh, one, that. two hmm. plus inches in some spots here. Uh, this isn't a perfect estimate, but it's an analysis. You know, we're seeing two, three inch estimates by radar. Torrential rain from these for sure as they come on down. Now you see that storm rolling on through has that. Uh, but Decatur, I mean, Decatur checking in with, uh, you know, it's, it doesn't have anything. That's going to be the road name, in fact, because of that there. So there's yellows. are really an indication once you start getting two to three inches in that, some pockets in there. Torrential rain, we were watching that in our Springfield camera. Of course, now we'll go back to Mattoon and kind of look off to the west here. Um, primarily, this batch of storms is heading in that general direction, may slip to the south there. This camera is looking from near downtown. It's close to the, um, close to downtown, and it's on the west side of the railroad tracks, looking off to the west, slightly to the south there. Of course, the signs you see on the left side there, uh, that's when you take 40, head over uh, 45 and you head to the left there at that light. You head out of town, you head all the way out to Charleston, that road, uh, on a Charleston Avenue there. Uh, the road then you're looking at in the bottom there, that's Highway 45. And it kind of bends and winds through downtown to get over the bridge and over the railroad tracks there, which is just to the left, if you're familiar with that. And it looks like, you know, we're having maybe some issues. I'm going to have to re reset that camera, try it again. See if we can't get some of that lightning there, but we... Char maybe the Charleston camera might be better. Better connection. Is the Charleston one working? Yeah, it looks like the Mattoon one just went black on me here. Yeah, I'd give the Charleston one a 
There we go. Now the Charleston one looks to the north, and you know I, I'd love to have the ability in Matt Tune Charleston to turn those cameras. Oh, there you go. There you go. Did you see that, Kevin? <laughs> so that's uh, you know overshooting tops uh, ah. anvil crawlers. Ah, what was there? That may be what kind of came out yeah. ahead of it. So maybe we we'll catch another one. Somebody online probably saw that. Um, Ian's calling it spider lightning. Yes, in the sky there. Pretty neat. Very stuff. very cool pictures. Or lightning to take pictures of and take video of crawling across the sky. That's fun. Yeah, we stuff. got William saying, yeah, three inches of rain in Buffalo back in, uh, that's uh, northeast of Springfield there. And then I probably misspelled another time name. Siegel? Siegel? Uh, Siegel. Is it Siegel? Siegel? Is it really Siegel? Like the Siegel. Bird? Instead yes. of Sigel? Yes. I had a teacher from Siegel. there. Siegel. Siegel. I had a teacher there, and uh, that grain elevator complex, her brother used to work there. He was killing the farming accident there. You look in the interstate, I can't remember how she pronounced it. That was my high school chemistry teacher. Siegel. 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 Okay. Siegel. Good to know. I've never had anyone call me on that one, but uh, shout out to Marguerite. She's on there saying, isn't it pronounced? We'll get Siegel. it right. I'm from this area, and I still don't know all the towns. The, the, yeah, that's the thing. Is like, you know, all, we have some strange town names around we really here. That could, be, that could be, you know, pronounced five different ways. Yeah. All right, we'll do another radar check here, you know, kind of keep you updated. We're on, on digital. Kevin's here with uh, myself. Okay, someone else saying it's a different pronunciation. We'll figure it out later. Sigil? Sigil? Six, uh, let's talk about the storms here. Uh, here we are in Shelby County. There is a severe thunderstorm warning that goes for another 15 minutes. The time now 12:14, 12:15 a.m. Just switched. Uh, that warning goes until 12:30. This is for that batch of storms from Mawiqua to Assumption and Pena and points to the east. Primarily a couple of bands there. One band from Shelbyville off to the north and to the west. Uh, that's going to go. Um, towards Tower Hill and Yenisville, Finley, up towards the lake. These batches have some gust of wind in them. Frequent lightning also. Frequent lightning, though, doesn't necessarily mean severe weather. Severe thunderstorm warnings are issued for greater than 58 mile per hour winds, quarter size hail or larger, and even the chance for uh, a tornado. This one earlier had that tornado possible tag on it, an indication, you know, think of that tag as kind of a extra heads up before a tornado warning. Doesn't mean you're getting a tornado, doesn't mean you're getting a tornado warning, but it's just, hey, we see a feature which maybe needs a little extra eyes on it. And that's, it's a good good extra heads up for us too in the broadcast where we can say, oh, that storm, you know, maybe we didn't quite catch it and you know, all these eyes on it, but they put that tag on there. And sometimes we expect that tag to come along and, you know, and see that. But that's the warning for Shelby County. It's a 60 yeah. mile an hour wind threat now. Don't really weaker. think hail is going to be much of a concern with that as it moves off to the east and southeast there towards Coles and Cumberland County. We may not see an extension of the warning. I'd almost yeah, be looks, surprised. It looks of pretty that. weak, yeah. It the, looks like it's weakening pretty good, kind of separating a little bit there. but um, Yeah, then down the line, that storm coming in northern uh, Fayette County, north of Vandalia, Nokomis, Okanee, Ramsey, Sharon. That one's way stronger. That one may very well be the next warning, uh, perhaps for Fayette County. So that, if it keeps on its way, I'll loop it the last 45 minutes, and you'll, you'll see how it kind of really takes that more southeaster dive compared to that storm to the north. Probably bring some gusty winds regardless, 40 mile an hour plus into Fayette County, the way, uh, the way it goes. And that would be a Fayette, maybe Effingham County. But we're getting to the point in the night where it's looking like things are, are starting to trend a little downward. I say that we're still going to watch, and if something comes further down the stream, Coles, Cumberland, Effingham counties, we'll be here for you, and we'll be here even down the stream for Clark counties and points there before we'll we be there. Off we'll be there for Sigel or Siegel. Sigel, Siegel, Sigel. I uh, so I I what I like to do is I like to call the Casey's gas station. Hey, that's a good idea. And and ask them. I always call the Casey gas station in some of these small towns and go. Pronounce your town for me. And <laughs> pronounce your and town. Pronounce your town for me. I just say, hey, pronounce your town for me. And I remember um, the guy at the Casey's there, he said, uh, he said, Siegel. But I've heard many people say Sigel, like Siegel. cigarettes. So yeah, Siegel, somebody commented and said, like cigarettes. Yeah, yeah, cigarettes or, yes, but Siegel. Siegel is like what the guy told me at the gas station in Casey's there, but I've heard many people say Sigel. Siegel. Good, good grief. You think that uh, Kevin and I pronounce enough or cause enough problems in the, the newscast when we're hanging out together in different places. And then we get yeah. to the late night here after midnight. Exactly. Uh, nothing good happens breaking, after midnight. Breaking here down we are. Uh, town names here. Talking about, yeah, we're talking about town names like cigarettes and storms so, yeah. and <laughs> yeah. good grief. But we are here for folks as well. We want to mention that uh, for Central Illinois, again, these 
showers and storms rolling on through. Let's go a little further downstream here and kind of talk about some of these storms. This is out of our area, but I think maybe something worth taking a peek at. St. Louis area going to get hit probably, is that the second or third time tonight, I think, with these lines of storms coming through parts of the suburbs. Uh, that will stay south of our area, but this batch of storms is expected to continue its progression more to the south and to these. We don't have any regional storms really besides this uh, batch that's in place here, and I'll I'll pop on the, the regional radar. Someone was asking downstream, they've got, you know, down in Maconda, they've got um, a camp staying in cabins. If you're in a cabin, I think you'll be okay here. Tents, eh. That line of storms expected to move more south through the night here. Whether or not it makes it that way far south into southern Illinois, we'll wait and see. The energy not entirely there. Um, but yes, some thunder and lightning with that. Look at those more storms than even out into Nebraska, Kansas, and places like that. That, I think, probably will stay south of us even tonight into tomorrow. And we'll still have some scattered showers and storms tomorrow, but I, I'm interested to know by about 1 a.m. when the Storm Prediction Center updates us, I'm interested to see if we really have much more than a level one risk here in central Illinois. Um, we'll see. Maybe Sunday has a better chance. There's just an area of low pressure that's you know, hanging out in the neighborhood. It's hanging out uh, like the in-laws in the holidays. They don't leave. This low pressure wants to do the same thing and sticks around overhead. And that may give us a little bit of that spin and some of that extra ability for uh, maybe a stronger storm or two. And maybe, you know, we'll watch it. I don't think this is going to be as troublesome as we had a couple of weeks ago, weekends ago, I should say. But it's just one of those things where we like to say behind the scenes, we're babysitting a radar through the weekend. And tonight, no exception to that here as this batch of showers and storms is rolling on through parts of the area. So still one warning, Shelby County, Moultrie County, all clear Christian County. Uh, I say all clear, and when I say that, from that particular warning, it doesn't mean, you know, in the next six hours something may happen, but we like to give the all clear, and it also doesn't mean you're not still getting lightning and thunder. There's still some showers and thunderstorms along 51 between Pena and Mawiko, right over Assumption. So folks, they're probably still getting rain and lightning, and they're still getting even behind that line a bit too. Uh, but you can see some of that lightning here. Seems like the, the strongest storm now. Starting to roll into strasburg Stewartson, Kevin. Kind of peeking out there. I see you looking at power outage. Or Big number. time power outage numbers over near Blue Mound. Over 567 customers. That's almost Blue Mound. <laughs> um, that's, a, that's a big uh, power outage. That's Ameren. Uh, 567 uh, customers without power um, in that area. So um, as that storm moved through, Looks like they're definitely dealing with some issues there. Blue Mound's population, just about 1,100 people. on my people. screen there, just an idea. Of I'm gonna, hey, listen, that could have been lightning caused. <laughs> uh, I mean, look at all the lightning that, that rolled over that area. I mean, that was a ton. But uh, Ameren reporting 567 customers without power and, uh, and counting. So that's, uh, that's quite a few in that area there. So whether that was lightning or wind-related, uh, Definitely a strong storm that rolled through there. But I got to tell you, these last few frames of the radar not looking as impressive as what we once had. Um, definitely was looking a little stronger earlier. Yeah, I brought it out back to the region, to the, the, the market area that we cover. I know folks are watching in Champaign County, Vermilion County. Really don't think we're going to have much issues. We'll see some lightning and thunder and maybe hear some in the distance here. But the severe threat really at this point seems like it's coles county southward and it's pretty slim at this point the lightning though a different story there's gonna be a lot of it there's a lot of lightning right now mccoupin montgomery fayette shelby southern macon counties in that uh, and then you see a couple of those bolts sticking out you know that one by tuscola a couple in southern dewitt county we've had some folks saying they're here in thunder and champaign urbana i'm not surprised by that with these types of events you know you get to see those uh uh, anvil crawlers or the spider lightning sometimes. We'll kind of watch here in Charleston again. This is looking up to the north. We'll bounce back to the Mattoon camera in a little bit here. But you'll see that lightning streak across the sky and look pretty impressive and kind of split on through and whatnot. And maybe we can catch another one of those in Charleston here before all is said and done. That's one of the great things about our, our uh, Flooring America iNet camera network, though, Kevin, is you know we get to look at all our different towns that we have. Charleston, Mattoon, Springfield, Decatur, Champaign, Danville, Gibson City. Uh, we even got one in Bloomington, and we've got our sister station has some in Peoria and Galesburg, other places. It's a really great thing for us to have here uh, in the area, and we'd love to get more of those, too. But uh, Mattoon, Charleston, giving us this camera, again, looking north from the first mid-bank there in Charleston. And uh, then I'll pull the Mat 2 camera up and maybe we'll get a peek at that one. And, you know, we've noticed at times there's been some 
bandwidth issues. Um, and it looks like uh, maybe that camera is offline at this the, point. The, ah, maybe there it is. Oh, there it is. We'll jump. Kind of coming in and out. The, the Decatur camera. I'm able to look. Um, that's a pretty good lightning on that. From I will uh, pull up the Decatur camera here. That's pretty, our uh, pretty carriage pretty. crossing one. Um, it looks like we're probably looking south. Would that be right, Kevin? Uh, yeah, kind of southeast, I believe. The the general direction of south as opposed to to north. Was it the Springfield camera we saw that bolt? Just uh, close by that hit that. Whatever. Oh yeah, Springfield. Yeah. Yeah. So we catch some things, some cool things at times. But now we're looking at the back side of the storm here. It's starting to move away, but still some lightning and thunder um, here in the region. So these storms, again, the tornado threat is about zero. I won't say it is zero, but it's pretty much. Yeah, it's as really close to lost. Zero as you can get. It had its one little chance to spin up something there and uh, just southeast of Taylorville, between Taylorville and Wanaco. Um, and that's when they first issued that warning there, you know, yeah. Taylorville Lake in the south and east and they head off uh, towards 51 and, you know, I, I won't say never, but at this point I'm thinking I'm pretty confident to say not tonight. Uh, with these storms. Oh, here. wow. There we go. There it was. Wow. That was a good one. That was a good one. Oh, my goodness. Uh, wind threat. I don't want to diminish the wind threat, though. I mean, these are going to have some gusty winds. They're going to be noisy yeah. storms. And we get yeah. noisy storms every now and then in Central Illinois. I want to say, Kevin. Wow, that was a cool lightning bolt. That, that, that was like the opposite. The, you know, it, it, it came down. And, yeah. yeah was, you know, I wonder if there's a tower down that way or something. Um, I want to say, Kevin, it's been a while since I think we've had a good thunderstorm in Champaign. We had that line that came through, you know, I lose track of them. There's, we've had a number of events that brought us some good thunder and lightning, but I haven't felt like we've had a powerful lightning storm park itself over town, like some of these folks down in Shelby County off towards... Uh, well, they got, they got good storms up in McLean County yeah. the other day, and then... Um, Sometimes I really just crave a good thunderstorm where I know it's not going to be severe, and yeah. you and I haven't been able to pull that off here. Me both. It seems like, but uh, you know, you look at the you look at this polygon here again. I'll pull the. Uh, I bet you that they're about to. You know, this is the outline of that polygon there. You look inside of there. The quote unquote intensity doesn't look all that high. More blues and greens than yellows and reds. And at this point, I wouldn't be surprised if uh, we get a statement shortly from the National Weather Service saying they're letting it expire at 12:30. We'll wait and see here. Maybe the, the heavier batch of showers and storms is going to be off to the south there, coming across uh, Strasburg, Stewardson area, heading towards um, Siegel Sigel, however we decided to pronounce that. Sigel. Sigel, great. Cigarettes. Cigarettes. <laughs> uh, Neoga, parts of uh, Cumberland and maybe even southern Coles County. That'd be down towards like Paradise, Lake Mattoon, um, north of Effingham. You've got Banner there. Uh, at that little stop south of Banner, there's a little gas station in the corner there, and then you come into the northwest side of town where all those restaurants are. So there's going to be a lot of thunder and lightning coming down that way, and even still these pop-up showers and storms across Fayette County will have lightning and thunder with them. And uh, even you seeing some of these greens, you know, there's lightning in there. I'll pop that lightning back on. I mean, these are some noisy showers and storms that are rolling on through in the middle of the night, and why not? Kevin and I got to stick around and... We'll uh, be here for the middle of the night and <laughs> provide a little entertainment too, I guess, uh, every now and then. Hey, if you're up at 1 a.m. on a Saturday morning. Yeah, I don't even know what's on TV at this point. More no power to you. I don't, I don't but, uh, I'm not sure. Yeah. I got a baby at home that's. Uh, you know, <laughs> yeah, I got a. You got crying. a baby at home? I got a plate of Mama Dickie's uh, world cookies. famous cookies still yeah, to eat. No, home. There we go. The well, that, hopefully, uh, these storms will continue to weaken and uh, we can be rid of these storms here before yeah. too long. I'm going to pull that camera back up, Kevin. That's the Decatur Yeah, it's fun watching the Decatur uh, I mean, camera. It's, it's looking impressive it's just, there. Yeah, they got, of course, you pull it up and there's nothing there. Um, <laughs> and no, I have lightning. Enough, but see nothing there. But, uh, you know, one thing, Kevin, it'd be nice if we could get audio on some of these cameras. I think that'd be really cool and be able to pull that. Listen and, to the thunder. Yeah, yeah. And then we just, we can just kind of hush up for a little bit and, let the thunder as it's rolling through tell the story and whatnot. So maybe that's something I'll have to do in my, my spare time. Right yeah, go get us a microphone. Yeah. Just pop it up there. Yeah, climb up to all of them and, and make that work. So again, we uh, really just have one batch of storms that we're watching, and the warning's going to expire in two minutes, and we'll probably wrap up digital, I would think, Kevin, 
when that warning goes. Yep, yep. I'm going to guess here in the next few minutes, uh, they're probably going to let that warning go. I mean, the storm itself is outside of the actual I mean, yeah, area. Um, and they haven't continued anything. If they would, they'd have to continue it for Effingham or Cumberland County, and I doubt that's going to happen. So probably Could just be a storm. pretty good little light show out there for many. Could another storm pop up? Yeah, you know, or I say pop up. I know the storm's there, but could we get another warning? Sure, that's possible. If that happens, you know the WCI3 weather app, if you've got that on your phone. One thing to mention is you'll need to update that. There was an update that came out um, this past week. Update on your phone and then check your, your preferences, your notifications on there to make sure that you're, you're still there. We switched servers and switched to a new app and we're doing some more work on it, uh, but that's something that came out. So you may just want to double check that. Doesn't hurt. Some folks are on now. If you've got the WCI3 weather app, check it. Make sure the data is coming in. If it's not, you'll want to update it through your app store. Just uh, kind of putting an unofficial plug there before we have, I guess, the, the official grand launch. reopening. Yes. You know, we had the soft opening. I soft think. That opening, was nice. yeah. yeah. This is a... Uh, Fun lightning. Pretty good here, so that lighting. It's pretty impressive. I, I love looking at the backside of storms. Uh-huh. Kind of like this here. I mean, that storm's a good, you know, 20 miles away. Yeah. So. All right. All right. Well, it is uh, 1229 and 35 seconds. So we're going to find out her pretty quick. Uh, I think. Gone. I'm going to do a quick radar run here. Yeah, they're going to expire this severe thunderstorm warning. So we'll do a quick radar update and kind of talk about where these are heading. So this batch of scattered showers and storms with a lot of lightning and uh, a lot of... Uh, you know, some batches of heavy rain will continue its south and eastward movement here. I don't expect much more to the north towards US 36. Light showers that way. I see someone asking about Tuscola. Um, there will still be thunder and lightning. Thunder and lightning, not always an indication of severe weather. But it's noisy. It may wake you up. And it may wake your neighbor up. Or it may wake your, your kids up and whatnot. Uh, if that's the case. I expect this batch of storms to kind of continue its south and eastward progression here. So at this point, I really think the chance for heavier rain will be Coles, especially Cumberland, Effingham County, carrying off towards our friends in Casey and down towards uh, parts of Clark and Jasper oh, County. Oh, wow. And Got uh, another good lightning. <laughs> to that area. We'll, we'll, we'll come back to the camera here in a second. Uh, so that's probably the area. Now, folks to the north, I mean, we still can very well get a couple of rumbles of thunder and some lightning in Champaign-Urbana. I mean, they're still getting in the backside here in Sangamon, Morgan, Macon, even Christian counties, and we've seen some rumbles of thunder in uh, we've seen some lightning strikes detected, I should say, in Pyatt, Champaign, and DeWitt counties. And so, you know, we still may have that. It'll look pretty hot there. But uh, I think at this point, the severe threat seems like it's really waning down and uh, taking care of itself. So that's what we got. Uh, again, these batches of storms, you'll notice the general movement. And I'll, I'll pull up the last 45 minutes here so you can see that loop. It's going to carry itself down, and we'll watch and keep an eye on it. Uh, more heavy rain and storms coming to McCoopin County and Montgomery County with that back edge there. But in general, the, the trend will carry this south and east, and there's not a lot of energy in this atmosphere for severe weather. There's plenty of it for lightning and thunder. That's the case with different type of energy for damaging winds, hail, tornado. That That's really not there. You get a little spot where it maybe spins up and is able to, to try and do something. And we had that in Christian County, which is why we jumped on digital. But at this point, things are winding down as these storms continue off to the general east with a good southward component here um, to the region. So I think at this point, Kevin... Uh, I think we're good. I think we, we will wrap it up here. And um, yeah, just kind of watch. Those of you are going to enjoy a good old thunderstorm down there into Effingham County. And... Uh, you get down there definitely some lightning that's going to come into you know portions of cumberland county there's still a lot of lightning strikes but even look how far north you know you're kind of getting into Moultrie county here some of that maybe southern pike County. look at that lightning strike clear up there that's uh <laughs> north of i-72 yeah that's on you or that's on illinois 10 even yeah it's on 10 up there yep exactly so so, so we're going to watch the storm too but i think our severe weather threat really winding down so i think we're going to be good to go there so we'll wrap up our coverage we thank everybody for uh, jumping on here with us Always got you covered anytime there's warnings in effect. Of course, here late at night, 1232 in the morning. Uh, but uh, we'll wrap things up here. And if any other warnings come on, I'll make sure Jacob is the one to go on. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to let uh, Kevin sneak yeah. on home and uh, yeah. you know, snuggle with the baby for a little bit. And I'll, I'll keep an eye on it. Snuggle with the baby. And uh, yeah, I wish, I wish I had a good old thunderstorm to 
to rock him to sleep to, but yeah, we're, like, we're going to miss out on it. Six here. more months, so you can take take him storm chasing. Yeah, is that is that the legal definition? Uh, yeah. No longer child endangerment uh, <laughs> after six months. <laughs> All right, sounds good. Thanks everybody tuning in, and uh, of course we'll catch you next time. So. Yeah. Um, enjoy some of the lightning out there and the thunderstorms and uh, stay safe. And if we don't see you all, then uh, be sure to join me with Jamie Mays for the morning show at 8 a.m. for more updates on scattered showers and storms through the weekend. We'll be watching in kind of WCIA.